y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley and I am the mompreneur here behind a crafty concept in today's tutorial I'm going to show you all how to crochet your very own crafty rainbow pillow I designed this pillow last summer and it's been available in my Etsy shop for five dollars up until now but I decided with St. Patrick's Day right around the corner now would be the best time to release it as a free pattern so you can find this guy on my blog at a craftyconcept.com for free you can find him in my Etsy shop for five dollar as an ad free PDF if you don't want to have to go to my website every time you want to make one of these or you can just keep watching this video every time you want to make one because it will be here on YouTube as well um, everything you need to make this guy is going to be listed in the description below along with all of the links to find the PDF or the free version on my blog. All that's linked below as well. If you guys have any questions after making this pillow or after watching this video, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm happy to answer any questions. I'm always happy to help. I hope you guys love this pattern and I hope you love this pillow. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do like it and hit that subscribe button while you're over there. That way you can stay up to date on all of my free crochet patterns and business tip tutorials. All right, enough jibber jabber. Let's go see what you need to make this pillow. First, you're going to need all of the yarn in the colors of your choice. These are the tropical colors for a tropical rainbow pillow. We've got tropical pink, mango, yellow, turquoise, peacock, and hot orchid. In um, I love this yarn colors, and I will make sure to post a couple color charts for you guys so you can see some other color options as well. Another color you will need is white for your clouds at the end. We will add the clouds to the end of the pillow. You will need a size G four millimeter crochet hook. This one is my Clover Amour hook and I love it. Clover Amour is my favorite brand of hook. If you haven't tried them, you need to. Scissors. The tapestry needle for sewing in your ends and then you will also need some stuffing I don't have enough room on this table to show you the stuffing but I will link it in the description and also on the pattern on my blog so you can find what kind of stuffing I use there I believe that's everything this pattern is made by making the back piece of the pillow and the front piece of the pillow and then sewing them together and stuffing it and then sewing it closed, or I, I should say crocheting it together. Um, we slip stitch the front and back pieces together. We're gonna start with the pink yarn, the tropical pink, and making the front piece of the pillow first. That's the side with all the pretty baubles on it. You're gonna make a slip knot Insert your hook, and then the pattern says to chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay, the pattern says skip the chain closest to your hook and single crochet nine in the back bump of the chain. So we're gonna look in the back bump, so Normally you got your stitches. If you look at the top, you have your front loop and your back loop. We're gonna be working in the back bump. So if you just flip your chain over, you can see all the different loops back here. Those are the back bumps. And we're gonna go in the, skip the first one and then go into the second one with a single crochet. That's one. And we're gonna do that nine times down the chain two, three, four, nine. And then the pattern says single crochet six in the last chain and then single crochet nine back down the other side of the starting chain. So we're going to put six single crochets down here in the, this end chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to single crochet nine back down this side of the chain. So our first nine was on this side, and then we're going around, and then we're coming back down this side for nine. One, two, 
two, three, four, eight, nine. Then at the end it says to chain one and turn. So we're gonna chain one and then turn our work, which means flip it so now this is the wrong side. This is the back of our work. Row two says single crochet nine, increase in the next six stitches, and then single crochet nine again. So each row is gonna be worked like this from now on. So we're gonna single crochet nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're going to put an increase in each of the next six stitches around, and an increase is just two stitches in the same spot, and for this pillow it is a single crochet stitch, so two single crochet stitches in the same spot. So starting in this one, we're going to put our first and then our second right in the exact same spot for two. And we do that five more times. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, five. One, two, six. And now it says to single crochet nine, then chain one and turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Chain one, turn your work. For row three, the pattern says single crochet one and then bobble stitch. You're gonna repeat that for 14 times. So single crochet, bobble, single crochet, bobble. You're gonna do that 14 times, but when you get around to the end, you're gonna end with two single crochets instead of a bobble. Not an increase, just single crochet, single crochet. Chain one and turn. So we're gonna start by putting a single crochet right here. Next is a bobble stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the stitch, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We're gonna do that four more times, three more times. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. Then we're gonna yarn over, pull through all five loops. That is our bobble stitch. And then we're not gonna chain right here or nothing. We're just gonna go straight into the next stitch with a single crochet. There you go. And you know what I lied earlier when I said this was the wrong side? This is actually the right side, the side with your tail. That's gonna be the front of your pillow where, where you can see the bobbles. Okay, we're going to do another bobble stitch in the next one. So yarn over, insert your hook. Grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Yarn over, insert, grab your yarn, yarn over. Three, four, and then pull through all, and then go right into the single crochet in the next stitch. And those single crochets are what keeps the bobble stitches kind of puckered together so they pop out on the right side of your work. Let's do it again. Um, you probably noticed that when I pull up a loop, I yarn under instead of yarn over. So yarn under, and then I yarn over to pull through. I don't know why I do it that way. That's just how I learned. That's how I taught myself. It's faster for me. So if you do something a little different, it's not gonna affect the pattern. Your hands just might move differently than what mine do. And if you see that, that's, that's why you probably yarn over, which is the correct way, I believe, or the most people yarn over. Yarn over, pull through all the loops. There we go. And we'll do that for a total of 14 times all the way around. And then we'll end over here with single crochet, single crochet. 
Okay, I just finished my 14th bobble. And next I'm gonna do single crochet and single crochet. One. And before we finish this second one here, I'm going to grab my mango colored yarn. So I insert my hook and pull up a loop and then I'm gonna grab the mango yarn to pull through and finish out the stitch instead of using the pink. And then I'm going to chain one and turn. Now we can go ahead and snip off our pink yarn and have that tail there ready to be sewed in at the end. You really don't need much pink. This is the smallest color, smallest amount of color you will need. Um, and the back piece is made just like the front, except you leave off the bobbles. So it's just single crochets. Row four says to single crochet nine, increase in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch for six times, and then single crochet nine, chain one, turn. So we're gonna start right here. Single crochet nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Increase in the next stitch, which is just, just putting two stitches together in the same spot. One, two, and then single crochet, and that's one. We're gonna do that five more times. One, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six. Now the pattern says to single crochet nine, chain one and turn your work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, chain one, turn. Okay, for row five, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 36 single crochets, chain one and turn. So no bobbles, no increases, just single crochet for 36. Two, three, four, five, 35, 36. Chain one and turn. Now for row six, we're going to single crochet nine, single crochet in the next two stitches, and then increase in the next stitch for six times and then single crochet nine, chain one, and turn. Okay, we're we'll gonna start with single crochet nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're gonna start our repetition with single crochet, single crochet, increase. And we're gonna do that for six times. So single, single, increase, that's one. Single, single, increase, that's two. Single, single, increase, that's three. Single, single, increase, that's four. Single, single, Increase, that's five. Single, single, increase for six. Now we're going to single crochet nine, chain one and turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, chain one, and turn. For row seven, we're going to start by single crocheting two. This is gonna be our bobble row. When we did the first bobble row, which was row three, I think. 
yeah, row three, we ended with single crochet, single crochet, and that put our bobble up a little higher on this side. So for row seven, we're gonna start with single crochet, single crochet. That way, when the row is finished, this bobble is up a little higher. So our bobbles are gonna go back and forth to which row has a higher up bobble. So two way. single crochets and then a bobble stitch, and then a single crochet and then a bobble stitch and you repeat bobble and single for 20 times. And then on the last stitch, we're gonna change our yarn again. So we did two single crochets, now we're gonna bobble, yarn over, insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's two, three, Four, yarn over pull through all the bobble loops and then go straight into our next single crochet do not chain after you pull through all loops that's one and we're going to repeat this well one and a half the single crochet started our second one okay so that's two go right into our single crochet Start in our third repeat, and I'm just gonna do this all the way around, and we're gonna end with a single crochet instead of two single crochets or a bobble. We're gonna end on a single crochet, and we are going to switch over to our yellow yarn at that point. I just finished my last bobble for row seven, and I'm going to insert my hook for my last single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, but instead of pulling through with my melon colored yarn, I'm gonna grab my yellow and then yarn over, pull through two to finish out the stitch. Now you can snip off your orange. So we're gonna chain one and turn. Then the pattern says to single crochet nine, then increase and single crochet three for six times and then single crochet nine. So we're gonna start right here in the first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're gonna do an increase and then one, two, three single crochets. So increase in the next stitch, one, two, and then three single crochets. One, two, three, and that's one. You're gonna do that for a total of six times. So increase, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, that's three, increase, one, two, three, that's four, increase, one, two, three, that's five, and then one more, increase, one, two, three and that's six now we're going to single crochet nine chain one and turn one two three four five six seven eight nine chain one and turn our work Row nine says we're just going to single crochet one time in each stitch around for a total of 48 stitches. So we're gonna start right here. One, two, three, four, 46, 47, 48, chain one and turn. Okay, and row 10 says to single crochet nine, then single crochet in the next four stitches, then an increase, then repeat that six times, and then single crochet nine. So we're gonna start over here with our single crochet of nine. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're going to single crochet four. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to put an increase in the next stitch which is just two single crochets in the same stitch. And that's one for our repeat. So we're gonna single crochet four. One, two, three, four, and then an increase. One, two, and that's two. Single crochet four. One, two, three, four, and then an increase. Four, three, one, two, three, four, increase for four, one, two, three, four, increase for five, and then one more, one, two, three, Four, increase and now we're going to end with nine single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine chain one and turn our work row 11 says to single crochet one and then bobble and do that for 26 times and then two single crochets down here at the end, so single crochet, single crochet. And on the last single crochet, we're gonna switch to our turquoise color. So we're gonna do a single crochet, and then a bobble stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's one, two, three, Four, yarn over, pull through all loops on your hook, and then go directly into this next stitch for your single crochet. And we're gonna keep repeating this until we have 26 bobble stitches. Gonna pull through all the loops on my hook of my last bobble, and then single crochet in the next stitch, and then single crochet in the last stitch for a total of 54 stitches. Um, before I finish out this last single crochet though, I'm going to grab my turquoise yarn and grab the yarn and pull through both loops for the color change. Chain one and turn our work. Now you can snip off your yellow and continue on to row 12. Row 12 says to single crochet nine, increase in the next stitch, single crochet five, and then repeat that. So increase five, increase five, six times, and then single crochet nine, chain one and turn. So we're gonna single crochet nine, one, two, three, Four, my goodness. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're going to do an increase in the next stitch. So that's just two single crochets in the same stitch. Then we're going to single crochet five. One, two, three, four, five, and that's our first repeat. We're gonna do that five more times for a total of six. Increase in the next stitch. Then single crochet five. One, two, three, four, five. That's two, increase. One, 
two, three, four, five. That's three. Increase. One, two, three, four, five. That's four. Increase. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. One more. Increase. One, two, three, four, five. And then we single crochet nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Chain one and turn our work. Row 13 says to single crochet one in each stitch around for a total of 60 single crochets. Chain one and turn. So we're just going to start right here with single crochet for the entire row until we get 60. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Chain one, turn our work. Row 14 says to single crochet nine, then single crochet in the next six. And then an increase, six, increase, six, increase for six times, then single crochet nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and then we're going to single crochet six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to increase, and that's one. We're going to do that five more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, increase for two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Increase for the third one. I have three more repeats of the single crochet, then increase, single crochet six, then increase, and then I'm gonna single crochet nine, and then I'll come back on camera. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, chain one and turn. For row 15, we're going to single crochet two, so one and two, and then we're gonna bobble, and then we're single crochet one, bobble, repeat that until you have 32 bobble stitches, and then you're gonna end over here with just a single crochet. We're going to change yarn colors again. So we're gonna start with two single crochets, one, two, and then we're gonna bobble, yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's one, two, three, four, yarn over, pull through all loops on your hook, and then go straight into your next single crochet. We're gonna do that all the way around, and then when we get to our last single crochet, we are going to switch to our peacock colored yarn. Coming up on our last bobble stitch for this row, which is row 15. And then we're gonna single crochet in the last stitch for a total of 66 stitches, but instead of finishing it out, I'm going to grab my peacock colored yarn, pull through two to finish out the stitch, and then we're going to chain one and then turn our work. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and snip off my turquoise yarn. I think you guys have got the basic idea now for how to crochet this pillow. So for the rest of the rows, I'm just going to post a picture here on the screen of what the row looks like when it's finished and I will say the stitches for that row so you guys can hear me so you don't have to look up from your work um, and then you can check when you're at the end of the row to see that yours looks like mine. So for row 16 it says to single crochet 9 and then increase in the next stitch then single crochet 7. That's our repeat. So increase seven, increase seven for six times, and then we're gonna single crochet nine again for a total of 72 stitches. So I'm gonna make sure we go right under there. Okay. Two, three, four. Here's a finished picture of row 16. Row 17 says to single crochet 72, so just one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 72 stitches, chain 1, turn. For row 18, the pattern says to single crochet 9, and for the repeat, you're going to single crochet in the next 8 stitches, then increase in the next stitch, you're going to do the repeat 6 times, then you're going to single crochet 9, chain 1, and turn. For row 19, you're going to start with a single crochet in the first stitch and then a bobble stitch in the next stitch. Repeat that for 38 times, so you'll have a total of 38 bobble stitches. Then single crochet in the last two stitches. Changing your yarn to purple on the last single crochet, chain one, and turn your work. For row 12, you're going to start by single crocheting nine. Now comes the repeat. You're going to increase in the next stitch single crochet in the next nine stitches. You're going to do the repeat six times, then single crochet nine, chain one, turn your work. For row 21, you're just going to single crochet 84, so one single crochet in each stitch around, chain one, turn. For row 22, you're going to single crochet nine, then for the repeat, single crochet in the next ten stitches, increase in the next stitch, do the repeat six times, single crochet nine, chain one, turn your work. For the last row for the front piece of the pillow, which is row 23, you're going to single crochet in the first two stitches, bobble stitch in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, repeat the bobble and single crochet back and forth for 44 times total, so 44 bobble stitches, and then you can tie off. Okay, after you finish the front piece, it's time to sew in all of our ends here and then make the back piece. And the back piece is exactly like the front, except you leave off all of the bobble stitches. So you repeat all of the rows exactly the same, but do just single crochet instead of the rows that have bobble stitches. Then when you finish your very last row of 90 single crochets, do not cut your tail because we're gonna use this purple yarn to assemble our two pieces together. Um, but I do need to sew in all of my tails first just to get those out of the way. And so it's not a hassle later. I wanted to show you guys something really quick. The back piece is gonna be slightly smaller than your front piece because your front piece has bobble stitches and they're bigger. So when you make your two pieces, if you think that you've done something wrong because your back is a little smaller than your front, you did not, that's okay. When we assemble it and then stuff it, you won't even, it'll just kind of like keep its shape. It'd be fine, it won't affect it at all. Okay, so I'm going to sew in my ends first with my tapestry needle. And I thought I would do a couple of those here on camera for you all and then do the rest off screen for time purposes. So I use my tapestry needle and then I go into the piece and I'm gonna go out into the back. That way I'll do all of my tying on this side. And I just go under the stitches like this. You can see that. And I pull my yarn through 
and I do that in a few different swipes and then sometimes I try to go back over some spots that I've already been so it can just get tangled up underneath all of my thread yarn and that way it doesn't come apart I think if you were to sell a crocheted piece to a customer if your tails started to come out and they didn't know any different they would think the whole thing was falling apart so I just try to make sure my tails never pop out and then I will do that to the rest of these and then we will assemble our pillows okay I just finished sewing in all of the ends on the front half of the pillow and I'm getting ready to do it on the back piece I just wanted to show you before I started that I don't think it's really gonna matter which side of the pillow back piece that you want to be the front like the right side and which one you want to be the wrong side because when we put it together I mean it's going to be the back of your pillow anyway and it's really not going to matter and both sides are pretty I just wanted to show you which one I am choosing so if you wanted to do the same as me this is going to be my front side and this is going to be my back side and it's the spot where the first tail is it's also my stitches are kind of coming towards me instead of away from me which if it was this way they would be going away from me I, that's the back of this row that's the front of this row so that's the side that i'm making the front row so i will sew in all of my tails back here on the back side okay i'm gonna start with one of these down here since i did this one for the front half of the pillow just so you guys can see it and i'm going to give this string a tug in this string a tug and then I'm going to sew the pink one in and I can feel it underneath the threads but it's not popping out over here on the good side so it's just really in between all of them and then after I finish sewing in all of these tails we will start to assemble our pillow and then we will do the clouds, and then we will stuff and close our pillow. So just like that, I'm gonna do that to all of them, and I'll be right back. I just sewed in all of the tails for my back piece, and I'm gonna take my front piece and put the wrong side up, so the right side, the bobble side, will be down on the table, and then take this guy right side up, so the wrong sides on the inside, the insides are touching. Now we are going to line up our stitches along the side and we're going to single crochet all the way around the border, the purple border, making sure to go through the front and back, the front piece and the back piece, all the stitches all at once. And we want to come in from the front side and then I'm going to come in over here. Don't have a chain up. After I finish the last stitch, I'm not going to chain one. I'm going to put my hook in the loop after going through this piece. And I'm just going to pull that through right there. And then I'm going to chain one to hold it. I'm going to go in that same hole. And then I'm going to go in the same stitch on the back piece. If you can see, my hook is through both the front and back pieces of the pillow. And then I'm going to just complete a single crochet like normal. That's one. Next stitch on the front piece, next stitch on the back piece, single crochet for two, next one, and the next one, single crochet for three, and we're going to do that all the way around until we have 90 single crochets, and while we're doing this, our two pieces will be joined together. Okay, this guy. Sometimes it's hard to do this the first go. You might have to end up pulling your yarn out and trying again, but it's okay. You'll get the hang of it. And it really doesn't take that long. It's just the one row for now. But you can see it's joining the two pieces together nicely. This is what the inside looks like, which we won't see that. Sorry. 
They won't see that because it'll be stuffed, but nice and clean. And I'm gonna do that all the way around until I get to this side. And for the very last stitch, I'm going to switch to my white yarn. All right, I'm just about to finish my last stitch right here for 90, making sure to go through the front and the back pieces. Grab my yarn, pull up a loop, switch to my white, pull through. Okay, now we're going to start, let's go ahead and chain one here to hold that steady. Now we are going to start the clouds section of the pillow and it is made going around the whole out, like raw edge of the pillow so we're not putting it together anymore. We're, we're doing like a circle around the opening of the pillow down here. Um, I'm gonna read off to you what the pattern says exactly and then we'll do it together here on camera says evenly single crochet 92 around the opening of your front and back pieces. Join back to the first single crochet, chain one and turn. Tip, it says each section of color should have four single crochets across it. So four, 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 until you get to the pink. Pink will have six single crochets across it. When you get back to purple, it will have eight, four in the front and four in the back. There should be no need for any increases, it said. So we are going to single crochet around 92 stitches. So we should have four white stitches to go across this hunk of purple here. So we're gonna put our first one right here. And you kind of have to make your own spots since it is a raw edge. One. The second one we're gonna go right here. Two. Three. Just make it as clean looking as you can. Four. And here, five, six, seven, come on now, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up here for the sake of video length. Um, I'm going to take this time to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to see more free crochet patterns, um, business tips, techie techie tutorials, and all kinds of stuff like that. At A Crafty Concept, my main goal is to help other, other crocheters and other small business owners learn how to run their businesses as smoothly and cost efficiently as possible. Also, if you would like to receive free Handmade with Love wrap labels every Wednesday, you can subscribe to my newsletter. All of the links for these things are below. This side of the front piece is where we sewn in all of the tails. So they're a little bit harder to find spots for than this side. This side was a little bit more smooth. 31, 32, 33, 34, 41, 42, and now we'll do four for this half of the purple and then four for this half. So 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And now we're gonna go around the back piece, just the same. One. Two, three, ninety, ninety-one, and ninety-two it says to join back into the top of the first single crochet, chain one, and turn our work. Actually, we can go ahead and clip this purple off. We're done with the purple now. 
Now for row two of the cloud. It says to single crochet and then bobble all the way around. Turn, sorry. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna start right here in this stitch and we will end in this stitch. So we're gonna start so here start for here a single, for a single crochet, crochet and then we're gonna, and then bobble. gonna bobble. One, two, three, Four, pull through all the loops and then go into the single crochet and another bobble one two three four pull through all the loops on your hook and then single crochet and you can see that that is gonna bring your pretty cloud bobble stitches onto the right side of the pillow, so we'll be able to see those. I'm gonna finish that all the way around and then I'll come back more about finished over here. Okay, I am almost back around here. Just have a single crochet and then my last bobble stitch. And then this row is finished. Then I'm going to join into the top of the first single crochet chain one and do not turn my work because we're going to do another row of clouds and we need it to be on the right side so i finished that bobble right there and then i'm just going to go right into the top of that guy to join chain one do not turn now row three of the cloud says to bobble stitch, and then single crochet around. So for row two, we started with a single crochet. For row three, we're gonna start with a bobble stitch. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook right into the same stitch where we just joined our yarn. Grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's one. Two, three, Four, pull through all of our loops and then single crochet into the top of the bobble from the previous row. Then we're going to do a bobble stitch. And single crochet and another bobble stitch and then a single crochet sometimes when I get ready to do my single crochets I give it a tug right there and that just kind of tightens up that bobble before it and then you will see our second row of clouds is kind of in the windows of our first row I will finish this row and come back when I'm over here alrighty I'm finishing up the last bobble stitch and then I'm going to do a single crochet and then join back in into the top of my first stitch, which was a bobble stitch. Then I'm going to chain one and not turn my work. The next row is another bobble row, and we're gonna start with a single crochet this time. So single bobble, single bobble. And we're gonna put our first single crochet right into the top of the stitch that we just joined, like so. And then we're gonna bobble. Single crochet, bobble, single crochet, okay, and you can start seeing our third row of clouds being formed. They look like little ice, look like little 
marshmallows. I could just pluck them and eat them. And this is what we've got so far. And we're gonna do our third row of bobbles and I will meet you back when I get that roll done. Coming back around here to the end with my last bobble stitch. Join back into the top of the first stitch, which was a single crochet. Chain one, do not turn for row five, says to bobble single crochet around. So we're going to start with a bobble stitch and we're gonna put it in the same spot where we just joined. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's one. Two, three, four, pull through all, and go right into the single crochet. Okay, let's see what we've got going so far. Pretty cute. And I will come all the way back around and come back when we're right here. Coming up on my last stitch in row five, which is a single crochet. And I'm gonna join into the top of the first stitch, which was a bobble. And now we are going to turn our work again and start going on this in this direction. This is what it looks like so far. With our beautiful clouds here. They're starting to try to curl in, but after we do the single crochet row and then stuff it, it will not do that anymore. So now we're going to do row six, which is just single crochet all the way around. Join back into the first single crochet, chain one, but do not cut your yarn. We're gonna start at the top of this single crochet from right here. That's one, two, Three. Okay, I've just finished my 92nd single crochet. Join back into the top of my first single crochet. Chain one, and we are not going to cut our yarn, but what we are going to do are sew in these tails from the beginning. I'll probably just tie them together. And then sew those in with my tapestry needle. Now the pattern says to begin to stuff your pillow. So I'm just gonna go get my um, polyfill that I have. I will post a picture here on the screen of what my polyfill looks like and there will be a link in the description where you can get it. After we stuff it, we will single crochet this close together just like that. And then we'll like stuff and single crochet, stuff and single crochet until we get it full. And then we'll sew in our tails and then we'll be finished with our beautiful rainbow pillow. Now I'm going to start stuffing my rainbow pillow. And I just pulled out a bunch of stuffing over here. I'm not sure how much it'll take. Start shoving some in there. You know what? I did see a tip once online that if you break your stuffing apart, like into tiny little shards like this, before you stuff your omegarumis, it helps the stuffing be more even. Um, these pillows are pretty big. So I'm not gonna be able to do that, but if you have the time to pull apart all of your stuffing before you stuff your pillow, it might give you a more evenly dispersed fluff. Just kinda keep playing around with it until you get the shape that you like. Make sure there's no big gaping holes. Not super easy to do around a tripod, not gonna lie. Ah, sorry. Now 
Now I'm going to start closing it up and then I will add some more stuffing as we go. Okay, so you're going to pinch this closed and then start crocheting them with a single crochet all the way across, making sure to go through both sides, the front piece and the back piece at the same time on your hook like that. And then just single crochet like normal. And I'm gonna do that all the way across until the entire pillow is closed. After you get about halfway across, you can kind of shape your pillow, squeeze the stuffing around, and add more if you need to. I think we're still good right now. I'm going to need to add a little bit more when I get over here. I can tell that it's not full enough, but I will wait till I get a little further down. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit more to fill up that hole a little bit. And then I'm just going to fill around and make sure it's nice and, like, even. Look how cute. Okay. Finish it up real quick, and then we will tie off and sew in our tail. smidgy more right there. And that's it. Snip off our end. Then I'll sew in my tail using my tapestry needle. Just and now we're, we're gonna have a super cute rainbow pillow. I think these would be perfect for nurseries of little rainbow babies. I think that would be beautiful. I hope you guys love this pattern. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you the next video.